Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and it appears to be bundle day here. Uh, this morning, we had the Fanatical Book Bundle, which is a whole bunch of eBooks, things like Unity, Unreal Engine, C++, and Blender. And tonight, we have uh, the Level Up Your Python Humble Bundle. Now, this one is strange, a very weird bundle. And if you are looking to become a Python developer, this one could really be interesting to you. Or if you already are a Python developer, if you're not into Python, there's really nothing here for you. But this one isn't a book bundle, it isn't a video bundle, and it isn't a software bundle. It's kind of all of the above. It's a really weird scattering of stuff all around a Python theme. Now, if you don't understand how Humble Bundles work to this point, basically it's a collection of stuff, often it's books or videos or software. In this case, like I said, it's a bit of everything around a theme. In this case, it's Python. The way it works is you can buy tiers, you get everything from that tier and below. Uh, as always, if it's of relevance to game developers, I go ahead and buy the bundle and let you know what you can expect. And today is no exception. Now, um, let's jump right in, take a look at the level up your Python bundle. Uh, I will obviously link everything relevant down below. And like I said, this one is a bit strange because it actually includes an IDE, video courses, um, kind of online training courses, or materials, tips kind of thing, and books. So you've got a real broad spectrum of things. So if you come in, if you buy at the $1 tier, you get PyCharm, which is an IDE, probably the IDE for Python. Now do keep in mind, you can develop Python in uh, Visual Studio, Visual Studio Code, uh, Sublime Text, basically any text editor out there probably has Python extensions, but one of the only ones that's actually designed for using Python directly is PyCharm. Uh, so it's a professional IDE. This is the professional edition. We'll get back to PyCharm at the end of this video. Uh, but probably the big thing that they've got going on here is if you are a new user, so if you don't already have a subscription, in the $1 tier, you can get two months of the pro license. Uh, on top of that, you get MongoDB for developers, which is a video course, uh, PyBytes Challenge, which is an online course. If you click this one, it's a platform with over 200 plus Python exercises. Um, and you get Python Tricks, a buffet of awesome Python features, an illustrated guide to Python 3. Now, one of the cool things about Python is until recently, it's been really fragmented with some people using 2.7 and just ignoring the fact that 3 existed. Now, 3 seems to be learning more and more into the standards. So that's what you're going to want to look for in your Python materials is stuff for 3 and higher. Uh, at the, let's see, $14.35 tier, uh, you get a four-month license for PyCharm, new users only. And this is the key thing to keep in mind. It replaces the $1 tier. So you do not get two months and four months. You only get four months total subscription there. Uh, you get the video async techniques and examples in Python. PyBytes Code Challenge Byte Bundle 40. Uh, this replaces the $1 tier. So basically it is more access to that training site. Um, Python Basics uh, 3.7, I believe that's what that's saying, but it's saying right here, Python Basics, a practical introduction to Python 3, uh, learning the Panda libraries, Python tools for data, uh, munging data analysis and visualization. And then at the $20 tier, the highest tier, which is really only, what do we see, in like six bucks up from the middle tier, you get the video building data-driven web apps with Flask and SQL Alchemy, uh, PyBytes Code Challenge Byte Bundle 60, so you get a higher tier there, uh, of the same thing, managing Python dependencies with PIP and virtual video, uh, effective PyCharm uh, training material for the IDE you get. Speaking of which, in this case, you get six months subscription and it replaces all of the below. So you don't get four months and two months on top. You get only six months total. And then Python mor uh, Morsels, weekly Python practice, a six months prescription subscription. So again, you're getting access to a lot of Python training courses and materials with this one. And all of that has a bit of a downside it's when you do actually go ahead and purchase this, you will notice that you have time limits to redeem things. So you have until December 1st to claim those things. So if you didn't want your, say, PyCharm license to start kicking off, um, you can only wait until December 31st before they expire, which is a little unfortunate. That's actually not that far out. That's only three or four months out. Uh, so that's a little disappointing, but it is one of those things to be aware of. So once you actually go ahead and purchase this bundle, uh, you get a lot of redemption keys. So you get a key here to go and re to get the various different courses. Again, if there is a deadline, it is highlighted. So here you can see, you've only got 81 days left to actually redeem that uh, membership. Um, 
Once you've got it, of course, it is yours, however. Uh, it goes on. All of these things basically are redemption keys you go to claim elsewhere, or even the ebooks you claim elsewhere, which is a little uh, untraditional because most of the time all of your library would exist directly on Humble. So that's also a little bit disappointing, but some of the books are still here on Humble, as we will see in a second. Uh, I've obviously masked it out so you can't see my actual PyCharm Professional Edition six month key, but your key would be shown right there. And then the two books that are directly in this bundle Illustrated Guide to Learning Python 3 and learning the Panda libraries are available here. The cool thing is they are in every applicable format, PDF, EPUB, and Mobi. Now, Python itself isn't used that much in game development. Uh, Civilizations 4 used it, I think, as its scripting language. Um, and that's among the kind of the biggest lists I can think of. There's the Panda 3D game engine. I actually did a list of Python game engines. I'll include that link down below as well. So if you want an idea of game development with Python, but it is not really that commonly used. But where it is used incredibly commonly is in 3D graphics. Uh, if you want to become a TD or a technical director in the graphics field, which is kind of like a, a, a programming artist, someone that supports the artist by creating pipelines and workflows and such, that is almost entirely Python work. Python is used heavily in the motion picture industry, and it's also used really strongly in machine learning, artificial intelligence, and in build systems. So uh, I imagine most major game studios probably have at least a Python programmer or two on staff that are handling kind of stringing all their disparate systems together. So even if it's not used directly in game development, Python itself is a very viable language to learn. Um, and then finally, the one thing that you're going to probably be most interested in in this development, or in this bundle, sorry, is the IDE, PyCharm. And if you want to, again, I will link this down below. It is made by JetBrains. I love JetBrains. JetBrains is, they make... Um, uh, WebStorm, uh, JRuby, uh, what else do they make? Um, IntelliJ, uh, the Real Project, that's ah, not coming to me. They make a great C Sharp IDE. They make C Lion. They make some of the best IDEs out there. And the cool thing is their IDEs are very consistent. So if you learn the Java one, you can use the C Sharp one. You use the C Sharp one, you can learn the um, Python one and so on. So once you've learned on one of them, you can transfer between them really easily. And they're also heavily cross-platform. So that's also a very nice thing. So if you are looking for an IDE that is actually dedicated to Python, it is hard to go wrong uh, with um JetBrains products. I love IntelliJ for Java development. It's also the underlying basis for Android Studio that Google uses. Uh, one thing to fully keep in mind here though, there is a professional and free community edition. So if you want to check out what PyCharm is all about, you don't need to get this bundle immediately. You can just go ahead and grab that um, uh, community version right here. So if you're interested in upgrading for six months subscription on the Pro, it, it, it is a value here. That actual full price to do so, let me just come over here, is da, 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 uh, 200 bucks a year. So you're looking at $100 for a half a year. So it, it is a pretty good savings, 20 bucks versus 100. So if you are interested in checking out PyCharm, there is definitely huge value in this bundle here. Um, if you're not into Python at all, there's literally nothing here for you. But uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, it, it. I've purchased it. I, I didn't redeem anything here specifically so that you could actually see what the redemption page looks like. But if there's something here you're specifically interested in learning a bit more about, uh, do let me know. I will do my best to get into it. Also, if you're interested in seeing PyCharm in action, I can maybe do a video about it. Let me know if you're interested in the comments down below. All right, so that's it. Uh, again, two bundles on one day. Uh, sorry about the double header, but uh, hopefully uh, there's at least something of interest to a few of you out there. Um, let me know what you think of Python in general, this bundle in specific. Um, and, oh, look at that. So this one has 111 days. So it looks like the redemption dates are a bit different. So the PyCharm only seems to give you slightly longer. Anyways, that's it. Back to my, uh, my closed down statements. Let me know what you think of Python. Let me know what you think of this bundle. And I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.